sorry about but I, I think it's dead. Do I care? Just get it out of the way. What do I look like, Wonder Woman? The engine died. Oh, that's good, real good. Maybe if you all honk at once, it'll move away out of sheer embarrassment. I'm telling you, the engine's dead. Your parking brake doesn't work either. I'll tell you what's not working. That hair piece. <laughs> well, I don't tell jokes. And I don't take notes. You've been saying there ain't much hope. You got nothing on me. No. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was the repair shop. <laughs> For $5,000, I can have my car repaired to its blue book value of $330. Wait, if you're gonna put that much money into it, I'd be happy to give you $350 for it. I've had that car since college. If I get rid of it, it's like saying goodbye to an old friend. Oh, Susan, come on, the, the, the convertible top jams, the radio's broken, and when the heater's on, the smell of cat pee from the back seat makes my eyes go. <laughs> Bring up mittens. That'll make me feel a lot better. Face it, sweetheart, the cat and the car are both dead. Let's just go out after work tonight, drink a farewell toast, and get you a car that I can borrow with pride. Morning, Susan. It's a nice jacket. But it makes me look fat, it doesn't match my skin color, and you'd look better in it. You know, it started off as a compliment, but you do bring up some valid points. jacket too oh thank you <laughs> jack i was damn i knew we should have put a fence up around that tiny little pool i have a sinus headache that's about to make my skull explode so unless you want to be covered with little pieces of cerebral cortex i suggest that you talk quietly and give me good news okay I just auditioned for Dateline, and it looks like I'm gonna get the job. Well, it's good news for me. All right, Jack, if you don't come up for air, you're gonna drown. Uh, what can I do to make you stay? Well, you could triple my pay and have Vicky and Todd rubbed out. You know I can't triple your pay. So this job, when will you know, and when we have to leave? Today, and a little later today. <laughs> but until it's official, let's keep it just between us. Can I have her office and her expense account? <laughs> Attention, people! I am going to the bathroom. <laughs> so if Dateline calls, I will be right back. Maddie, if Dateline calls, I'll pull you out of there and finish up for you myself. <laughs> So, promise you'll come? Your place, 8 o'clock sharp. I will be there. Great. Nice meeting you. I'll see you then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who was that? Oh, that was Mia. Or should I say, Mama Mia. <laughs> and she just invited me to a party with seven, count them, seven of her closest girlfriends. You, alone with eight women. Why, why do I see you tied down in the middle of a flaming pentagram? <laughs> because you're jealous? Okay, I want to come. Can I come? What? And reduce my chances of scoring by 73%? Where'd you get that number? I don't know. I just don't want you to come. So how are things going on the used car front? Great. Thanks to the miracle of the internet, I found a world of cars that I can afford. An 83 Dodge Dart, a uh, 76 Pacer with no reverse, or a golf cart that Guns N' Roses once used for a foursome. I didn't know they played golf. They don't. Hello, the gate. It's Dateline for Maddie. Oh my God, oh my God. Maddie, Dateline, Maddie!
Hey, listen, before you start with the stupid jokes, this is a massage helmet. Anyone that insults it will be Dr. Week's pay. Hey, the helmet looks fabulous. Yeah. You look like an idiot. Will you two please be quiet? I'm praying. So? Oh, they said they loved my work, but it was a chemistry thing. My guess is that Jane Pauley is a little afraid of the competition. Nutty, Dateline's loss is the Gates game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I married a rabbi. What more do you need? I still don't understand why I have to pay for the drinks. Because I have entitlement issues. <laughs> well, uh, who's ever buying better make it fast? Mia and her lovelies are expecting me in one hour. Yeah, I can't believe you won't let me go. Uh, sorry, brother. There's only room for one rooster in this hen house. Yeah? Well, go pluck yourself. <laughs> oh, my God! Who's here? Hi, guys! Come on over. Say hi. Is she talking to us? Would you come over here now, please? Hey, office buddies, I would like for you to meet bar buddies. This is polyester guy, <laughs> comb over guy, guy who likes pretzels, and Tim. My name's Jeff. That's yeah, Tim. Anyway, this is Susie and Red, Hot Toddy, and Muy Guapo. I, I, I heard the news. I'm sorry about the dateline. Oh, please. It's just a job. Anyway, I get to stay with you guys. Isn't he adorable? Have I ever told you how adorable you are? Uh, yesterday you called me a pea brain cretin. <laughs> yes, but you're an adorable one. Why don't you guys pull up a chair? Come on, join us. Bucky, we need some more drinks over here. Huh? Bucky, oh. Oops, a daisy. Okay, honey. You're done for the night. Oh, come on, Bucky. It was an accident. No big deal. I think Bucky's right. Oh, you're gonna trust the opinion of a grown man who calls himself Bucky? <laughs> come on, you guys. Let's go across the street to Daffy's. Now, there is a man whose opinion I respect. Hey, Maddie. Yeah. Uh, before you go, yeah. I got a joke to tell you. Oh, goody. I love jokes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> knock, knock. Who's there? Give me your car keys. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. You don't have to. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Susan, you tell a sucky joke. I'm really sorry about all this. She's not normally like that. She's had a rough day. Yeah, well, she must have had a lot of them because this isn't the first time I've had to cut her off. Susan, come on. We're toasting your car. Mm -hmm. Coming. So long, good friend. Don't cry in vain. We'll even miss your urine stain. Yeah. <laughs> See, I had a cat. <laughs> It was fantastic. Eight gorgeous women and me. I was like a bull. Uh, Mia, what are you doing here? Delivering your Tupperware. Uh, I, I told you to bring it to my apartment. I know, but I was in the neighborhood. It was a Tupperware party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy surprise, huh? So, uh... One of these is mine. All of them. What? Wait a minute, I only bought one. Yes, one set. The 144-piece survivalist buffet. Yeah, uh, how much did that cost me? Well, I'm not going to charge you for delivery, so it's only $800. Wow, I thought I'm surprised. I thought your Tupperware budget was only $600 a month. <laughs> You're going to love this stuff. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, can I uh, see you tonight? I would love to, but I'm hosting another party. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Uh, sorry, no, I'm, I'm more of a saran wrap kind of guy. Uh, yes, I have a question about an $800 charge on my visa bill. Yes, I'll hold. Oh, great. Their hold music is Hey Big Spender. Vicky, check out the new Susan Mobile. It's sporty. It's affordable. And it comes with a German accent. 
You're getting us the Porsche. Oh, you're only $30,000 off. <laughs> we are going to be driving the new Beetle. Um, can someone get me uh, a cup of coffee and half a dozen ibuprofen? Sure. Do you want some Chianti and fava beans with that? Whatever you say, Clarice. Well, you look surprisingly alive, as opposed to last night when you were hammered. Oh, look, I had a bad day and a couple of drinks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go write an article for this wonderful magazine we work for. I put your car keys on your desk. Oh, great. Where did you find them? In my pocket. You gave them to me last night. Oh, right. Thanks. Yes, it is my signature, but look, Chris, I'll be honest with you. I only bought the stuff because I was trying to score with the sales rep. I mean, you're a guy, you under... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am, it's just... <laughs> well, you, your, your voice was so low, I just figured... Hey, hey, do you have a cold? <laughs> Hello? Well, that's, that's great work, man. You spent $800 and all you got was stop over. <laughs> Correction, there was kissing. And I got bra. Copper strap. Strap. <laughs> Susan, are you tired of seeing your hard-earned dollars being eaten up by the high cost of disposable plastic bags? Tired. I'm buying a car. I can't afford Tupperware. Have you thought about leasing? <laughs> leasing Tupperware? I can put you into this sandwich saver for pennies a week. Goodbye, Tom. Mark, I know what you're thinking. I'm full right now, but I might want the rest of this bagel later. What to do? Jack, I say the article is fine. And I say I want to rewrite in 24 hours. Or what? Maddie, last time I checked, you worked for me. <sighs> About Maddie. Look, I don't want to hear it. So she lost a job. Is that any excuse for her sloppy work, her terrible attitude, the fact that she was just going to walk out on the gate? I think I might know why she's doing it. Yeah, so do I. She is a selfish prima donna. And maybe an alcoholic. So Maddie's a boozer. Explains her irrational resistance to my charms. <laughs> Clearly the alcohol clouded her judgment. Louise, I hate to tell you this, but the theory is booze makes it easier to score. No, that's Tupperware. Okay, that's concentrate here. The point is, Maddie has got a problem. And Jack and I have decided that we are going to help her. Isn't that right, Jack? Uh -huh. Trust me, that's a yes. We are going to do a kind of intervention on Maddie. Now, I've contacted someone from the National Intervention Network. He's faxed me this information on how to confront her with her problem. Uh, confront her? So we're supposed to tell her she's a drunk to her face? Oh, can I go first? <laughs> This has to come from a place of compassion and understanding. Sure, take all the fun out of it. No, Susan's right. This is what we have to do, and I, I say we do it. All right, but uh, if she starts throwing things, can we uh, toss her a brew to calm her down? Or... Oh, let me just check. No. All right, it's all set. Now, Jack, you come back from the doctor's by what time? 2 o'clock. All right. Now, Maddie never comes back from lunch until after 2.30. At 2.15, all of us will meet in her office. Now, if you will excuse me, I've got to get a car. Not without me, though. Mickey, I don't need your help. Sure you do. They're gonna see you coming a mile away, honey, and not just because you're weirdly tall. <laughs> without me, you're gonna end up buying all sorts of bells and whistles and options you don't really need. How can you not want pinstriping? Without pinstriping, it's just a car. <laughs> and with pinstriping, it's a car that costs 200 bucks extra. Oh, that's an old brochure. It's actually 250, but it's lovely. Well, I don't need it. And I don't need tinted windows, and I don't need paint and fabric protection, and I also don't need a color dashboard cover. Well, we're still gonna get the fog lamps, right? Fog lamps? When did I agree to them? Actually, I think you were in the bathroom. Susan, work with me. Okay, what's it gonna take to get you in this car? You standing out in the parking lot with duct tape on your mouth. Okay, I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee. Anybody? 
All right, Daryl, forget the coffee, okay? And forget the options and forget the sale. I'm going to go look at other cars. What other cars? Look at the size of you. Your only other option is a phone booth with wheels. <laughs> Daryl, don't worry. I'm gonna get her back, man. <laughs> Vicky, stop playing with the speed dial. I didn't do anything. Cokie Roberts' office. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for Pepsi Roberts. Chuck, well, what exactly did the doctor give you? An antibiotic. <laughs> and a muscle relaxer for that cramp in my neck. Hello. I can't believe that you're high at an intervention. <laughs> no worry, I'll be fine. Goodbye. Quick, she's coming. Todd, this is an intervention. It's not a surprise party. Hello? Oh, Daryl? No, no, no. I, I cannot talk about the car right now. No, this is not a bargaining ploy. I cannot talk right now. Hello? What's this? Some sort of surprise party? Hey, look, that's the way I wanted to go. Todd. But... Maddie, we are all here to talk to you about what's been going on lately. Okay, what's been going on lately? Don't play dumb with us, you lush. We're here about the booze. Vicky, what? I thought we were supposed to be honest. Wait a second. If you people think that I have an issue with alcohol, you're even dumber than I thought. Hey, what are you doing in my office? Uh, he's a little high on painkillers, but he's here for you. Sort of. Well, could he sort of be someplace else along with the rest of you? Look, Maddie, we're not leaving until you hear us out. And, and listen to a very short presentation on Tupperware. Which I... <laughs> Daryl? Oh, great, it's Vicky. Okay. okay. Anyway, Maddie, we are concerned about your drinking. Mm -hmm. And I am not. I am an adult, and the last time I checked, prohibition was over with. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Maddie, wait, 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 wait. This is for your own good, okay? Look, you keep drinking and you could lose not only your career, but any chance for a relationship with me. <laughs> If I had a relationship with you, I would be bombed 24 hours a day. You see, there's a hooch talking again. Right, can everybody stop talking about their personal agendas, please? We are here to help Maddie. He caved! Okay, your price, everything you want, and I get a free fanny okay, pack. Fine. We'll take it. Maddie, we think that you've got a problem. And you're right, I do. I do have a problem. I have an office full of idiots. Okay, look, maybe we didn't go about this the right way, but we're, we're scared for you. That's right. I mean, look, Maddie, last night you were nice to me, and that's not healthy. You know, this would make a really touching movie of the week, but I'm going to say it for the last time. I do not need any help. Really? Mm-hmm. How dare you go through my drawers? I wish someone would go through my drawers. <laughs> I'm lonely. You know what? I'm not going to stand here in my own office and be attacked. I'm gone. How'd we do? Not so good. Maddie, wait. No. Look, I, I know that we did not handle that well, but we only did it because we care about you. Who asked you to? Don't you see what you're doing, Maddie? You're a bright and wonderfully talented woman. You're throwing it all away. Susan. I know alcoholics, okay? My mother is an alcoholic. I am not. You didn't even remember that I took your car keys. Your work is suffering. You drink in your office. You've had at least one DUI that I know about. What's it gonna take, Maddie, another one? Or maybe you'll just kill someone. I would never do something like that, Susan. Look, I can handle myself. Well, it doesn't look like it to me. Oh, come on, Maddie, please. You can't do this on your own. Get help. Hey, I have never asked for anything in my whole life from anyone. Everything I've ever done, I've accomplished on my own. And I'm not some pathetic loser who needs to stand up in a meeting and whine about her problems. You know, from the day that I met you, I always admired that you had guts. I cannot believe that you don't have the guts to be honest with yourself about this. So I was able to unload the Tupperware to flea market. Got most of the money back and uh, learned a valuable lesson. If you're going to pay, make sure you get more than strap. No. The flea markets are full of hot chicks. You know, I met one last night and we ended up back at her place. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm listening. 
Well, I'll tell you this much. I placed an order, and it wasn't for Tupperware. Hi, Todd. Janine, what are you doing here? I'm dropping off your wind chimes. Wind chimes? What? <laughs> These I can use. Susan, the uh, shuttle for planet goofball leaves in five minutes. Oh, sure. It's easy to make jokes when you feel better. My head is throbbing. By the way, none of this stuff works. Well, that's because they're designed to fight headaches, not guilt. I'm not feeling guilty. Oh, sure you are. Because Maddie didn't make it into work today, you think it's your fault. Oh, well, if I hadn't said anything... If you hadn't said anything, what? Then the problem would have solved itself? That's not the way it works. Susan, you did the best that you could do. The rest is up to Maddie. And before I knew it, uh, drinking hadn't just become the most important part of my life, it had become my life. And uh, because of drinking, I lost my wife, my job, my self-respect. And if it wasn't for these meetings, uh, I don't know where I'd be today. Thanks for letting me share. Susan, I know I went a little overboard with the whole car buying thing, so got a little present to make up for it. Oh, you didn't have to do that. But as long as you did, gimme, 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 gimme. It's a personalized license plate. Hot Vicky. Busty redhead was too many letters. And what about freckled ass? That's on Todd's moped. <laughs> 